wonders shall never end. And indeed, wonders are very far from ending. Also, another saying said that marriage is honorable, married bed is sacred, undefiled. But guys, this story defiles everything you can think about a marriage bed. Let's get into this video. Thank you for watching. Just when you think you've had enough, another one shows up. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. So in today's story is about a pregnant married woman that was caught red-handed on her matrimonial bed. Guys, tell me what you're thinking right now. You heard me right. Caught red-handed by her husband on their matrimonial bed with another man. And the man is alleged to be a pastor. The setting in the bedroom seems to look like that of a ritual. They have some calabash on the floor, some cooking pots and frying pan with candlelight scattered all over the place. So tell me what a married woman is doing with that kind of arrangement in her bedroom with another man. You know, I said the wonder is very far from ending and indeed it's true. Wonders are not ending anytime soon. I just finished in my previous video about a dentist in Lagos, Nigeria. Now I'm talking about a married woman. What is going on with what people? Let me know what your mind is telling you right now. What is going on in your mind? And what would you do if you happen to be this woman's husband? What would you do? All right. The story is that the man, maybe he got some information about what was going on in his home. So he went to the house and then got into their bedroom with his cameras on. Yes, you heard me. He videotaped the wife, the pregnant wife, and that of her lover, you know, stuck you know naked the man was say uh, was seen pleading please 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 forgive please 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 so tell me what the world is turning into was this woman forced to marry her husband what is the case here and if i may ask who is actually responsible for the pregnancy if even with big belly pregnancy, she was still hammering with another man who is responsible for the pregnancy. Are you sure the baby in the belly belongs to her husband? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I guess by the time they run a DNA test on that baby, they, the baby could be another man's child and not the husband. If you know you're no longer interested in this man or husband or whatever in the thing called marriage, why remain there? Why take your body for another man and then you come back when he comes back from work and be the sweet darling wife? Why? That's the height of wickedness. Why would you marry a man that puts you in a family way? If at all, the husband is the one responsible for the pregnancy. And then you bring another man into your marriage bed. Hey! What people, what is going on? What is happening to my generation? What is happening? I wish somebody would pinch me and tell me now these things are fairy tales, but they are not fairy tales. These are things happening in our time and evidences are all over the internet so guys what would you do if you happen to be the mother of this woman or the father of this woman or the siblings of this woman that have you know pictures are all over the internet what would you do somebody might call you on the phone oh i just saw that your sister or that your sister that is uh, pregnant i saw her on the internet so what is going on what would you do so now, with this story, what do you think the husband would have done differently? Are you of the opinion, or rather school of thought, that the man shouldn't have recorded the wife, 
or are you of the opinion that the man shouldn't have posted it online let me know what you think in the comment section i know bringing this kind of thing is to shame the woman and shame the man but sincerely speaking i don't want to believe that's the best way to treat a story like this i'm not very certain who brought the message to the internet but whoever that did that did not mean well so tomorrow if that child happens to double into this picture in the future seeing her what mother, do you think will become of that child she'll be he or she will be traumatized what? what kind of way do you think the child will feel i know that what the woman did is an abomination especially from the part of the world that i came from but at the same time there are other ways of handling situations like this if you have this kind of evidence you would have presented it to your lawyer and seek for a divorce and go your separate ways you don't have to come and shame the person on social media because you felt that he cheated on you or she cheated on you no that is a no no for me then again you ask was he a life record that he was transmitting online or was he a recorded video that he decided to post at you know he to post later Whichever way you look at it, I think that action alone is not good. Call it what it is. The action of recording them and putting it on social media is actually condemned. Yes, I don't stand by that. I don't believe in that. That is way too nasty and way too messy, you know, to bring your family into that kind of situation. What if there were kids that are already in the marriage and even the unborn one, tomorrow they are going to see this kind of situation they will as well tell you i in as much as what she did was wrong but daddy you shouldn't have done it this way or you shouldn't have done it that way i've said this a number of times here in my channel marriage is not by force it's not if it's not working for you find a way to walk away you don't have to stay there and bury yourself in the process marriage should be enjoyed and not related marriage is beautiful when you get the right partner with the information we hear these days on social media, it makes it as if marriage is a doom. And I believe young people yeah. sooner or later will start thinking that marriage is, is a scam. I'm here to tell you and tell any young person watching this video or is going to watch this video in the future, marriage is no scam. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It is very enjoyable. It is very interesting. So it should be peaceful. But that's only when you dot all your I's, cross all your T's, and do your check well before you say, I do. Don't be in a hurry. Don't jump into it because my age brackets are getting married. My mates are all married. I'm the only one left behind. So for that reason, you settle for less. No. no. Do not settle for less when you're making decisions of a lifetime. Marriage is that such decision when you're making decisions about getting married who to marry and who to settle down with please if there is anything clouding your eyes make sure you wipe them off so that you can see clearly ask questions find out the family that person is from find out the home that person is from ask questions classmates of the person schoolmates of the person get to dig deeper don't be in a rush because the society is dictating the pace no say no to being pushed or rushing getting married because that will end up like the story i'm just sharing today you might end up being the father you never really loved this person or you never liked this person but you had to give in because your mates were getting married you have to give in because you just found that your are in your 30s and no man was coming forth marry who you love marry who you believe you can spend the rest of your life with marry who you're so happy to wake up next to every morning don't rush into marriage and start jumping around from one bed to the other or start bringing in men to your husband's bed because maybe you felt your husband is not good enough in the other room and whereby your husband is not good enough in the other room maybe he he doesn't have your time sexually or he doesn't know how to you know make you feel like like a woman he calls for what communication discuss that with him don't feel shy don't effective communication in marriages works wonders it makes each person realize where you're missing it where you're getting it right and solutions on where you plan on me 
making it right. Like I said, guys, don't jump into marriage because the society is dictating the pace. So I'm going to ask again, guys, if you happen to be this man, assuming he's a, he was a stranger that recorded this video, and then you happen to say, my friend, I came into your house and lo and behold, I was hearing noise in the bedroom. So I walked in, boom, oh, your wife and another man. So I decided to record as an evidence for you. What would you do if you were in this man's shoes? Let's assume it was the man that recorded this. What would you do if you were in this man's shoes? Would you have recorded this video, shared it online to shame the wife and the man? Or would you have recorded this video and call her, her parents and tell the parents that you're no longer interested in the marriage and go to court and seek for a divorce? Let me know what you do in the comment section. And I want to thank all of you for always, always coming to watch my video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share with your loved ones and leave me your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys.